So here we'll look at uh, 2018, Needles are higher level question two involving sequences and series and all also the factor theorems thrown into the mix. So in question two A, you see that pen. The first three terms of a geometric series. So geometric means they're being multiplied and series means they're being added together. So the first three terms of a geometric series, here's my term one. It's going to be multiplied by a common ratio and we'll get 5x minus 8. And it's going to be multiplied by the same common ratio and we'll get x plus 8. There's the three terms in that order. Use the common ratio. Now, if we don't take them away, that would be for an arithmetic or linear one. Since it's geometric, we use this fact, term 2 over term 1. It's the same as term 3 over term 2. Now, all you've got to do is substitute in these values. So term 2 is 5x minus 8 over term 1. Same as term 3 over term 2. Now we're just doing a wee bit of algebra. Cross multiplying, getting rid of the fraction. So 5x minus 8 times 5x minus 8 is equal to x squared times x plus 8. And I multiply that out, 25x squared minus uh, 40x minus 40x minus 80x plus 64 is equal to x cubed plus 8x squared. And then tidy it up a wee bit. x cubed minus 17x squared gives me the answer now. Minus 17x squared, just to be sure, to be sure. Plus 80x minus 64, yeah, we're right. So that's our cubic. Uh, the second bit there in B, that, so this here boy here, uh, is our function, show that f of 1 is equal to 0. So that's handy enough. Sub in 1 for our x. That known as a root. So that's known as a root. Find the other value of x or find another value of x for which that. So since it's a cubic, it's got three roots. They've identified one um, as our x is equal to one as a root. You know, so therefore x equal to one is a root. And what you must do with that is get the factor of it. So if x equal to one is a root, that implies that the factor is x minus one. Then we're going to do long division of that into our cubic and we should get the remaining two roots. We'll get a quadratic and then we can solve the quadratic to get the remaining two roots. So, to And then divide it in. So what do you multiply x by to get x cubed? x squared. Multiply it down. Get x cubed minus x squared. And then draw your line. Change the signs. This is what you do in normal long division. Draw your line. Change the signs. So there you go. Minus 16x squared. And then repeat the process. What do you multiply x by to get minus 16x squared? Minus 16x. Multiply it down. Draw your line, change the signs. And then there should be no remainder, so we'll know I've got this right. What do you multiply x by to get 64x? 64, 64. And that looks good to me. So there's no remain, remainder. Draw your line, change the signs. Then this is a quadratic. Factorize this. It's actually going to turn out to be a perfect square. What have they asked? Find the other value of x for which f of x equal to zero. So there are my factors. There are the other two factors. Therefore, another root is x equal to eight. It's a repeated root, if you like. But it's the other root, so it occurs twice. And then part C. 
um, in the case of one of the values of x from part b. So there we go there. Terms in A will generate a geometric series with a finite sum to infinity. Find this value of x and hence find the sum to infinity. So a lot going on there. But what you've got to do in part A, there was our geometric series. So x squared plus 5x minus 8, x plus 8. If we sub in, x is equal to 8. That means our term is 8 squared, which is 64. This one, 5 times 8 minus 8. And we have plus 8, so 64. 40 minus 8 is 32. 16. We know this is right, because if we divide term 2 over term 1, it's the same as term 3 over term 2. So term 2 over term 1, 32 over 64 is a half. 16 over 32 is a half, so that works. If you used 1, you'd have 1 minus 3 and 9. Yeah, the network is this one minus three and nine minus three over one. Nine over minus three minus three over one. Yeah. So in case one of the values from part B, suppose we've got to take our part B that we worked out. We generate a geometric series with a finite sum to infinity. Find this value of x, hence find the sum to infinity. And uh, so our value of x is eight. And therefore it says also sum to infinity. Once I see sum to infinity, I know I'm using this formula. In your formula book, a is the first term, so our first term there is 64, r is the common ratio, which is a half, and horse then values in. So 64 over 1 minus a half, 64 over a half, uh, 128.